evening, Abhishek. Such a pleasure to introduce you. No, I meant every word I said, really. And the lucky one talking to him is, I'm jealous, Mayank Shekhar. <laughs> All right, take it on. Make that louder, guys. This is the second one-on-one -on -one conversation of the day at Jagran Cinema Summit. Just to let Abhishek know in case he hasn't read what the topic is. The topic is deep dive in the sense, I wish we'd done some drugs together because it's easier to deep dive. But I guess you're an actor, so I guess it's easier for you to, to deep dive without the drugs. What we're really looking at, of course, is the evolving idea or the concept of a Bollywood superstar. Why you are the perfect fit for this one is because you've said this quite often now, that you told yourself that you're gonna take a break. Actually, two years is not even a break, it's a sabbatical. And you decided to reset your acting goals. Now, I was speaking to Anil Kapoor recently, and he told me that there was one point in his career when he wanted to take a break, or a sabbatical as it were, and your father, Amitabh Bachchan, is the person who he approached. I think they're working in a film together. Yeah. And he immediately told him, never ever do that. Keep working. You had the same man in your house. Did he not give you the same advice? Firstly, uh, good yes. afternoon, good evening, everyone. And um, thank you. Oh. <laughs> that feels good. See, you shouldn't have taken that self-imposed hiatus. Um, you know, Mayank, when I decided um, that I needed to take this uh, sabbatical, um, I was very convinced that this is what I needed to do for myself, for my career. And um, the decision had been made. I mean, obviously, normal table conversation, um, I did tell my family that this is what I was planning to do. And um, my father, he did respond with, a similar, I mean, I don't think he was as emphatic as he would have been with Anil. Mm. But he said, look, you know, I did this and it's the biggest mistake I made in my career. Right. And um, are you sure you want to do this? And I mean, it's your call, but mm. he gave me his opinion. I think times were different when he did it. In 1992, if I'm not mistaken, when my father finished shooting Khuda Gawa, he decided for uh, various reasons that he wanted to. Which was a great film, by the way. It was, yes. Yeah that he wanted to take a break and um, after five, six years, he was kind of coerced into coming back. In those days, uh, when he came back, he felt he had lost touch with what the audience wanted. Also, in that interim period, there was an entire new generation that had come into watching movies, but more importantly, there was an entire new generation that was making movies. Mm. The likes of Suraj Barjatia and Aditya Chopra had come in and, and left their stamp and changed Indian cinema uh, and how the audiences wanted to view cinema, what kind of heroes they wanted. Suddenly from the angry young man, it became the romantic NRI hero. So when my dad came back, he felt that, oh my God, I'm still doing the kind of films that I was doing in the late 80s, early 90s, and that wasn't working. That was why he felt it was a mistake. He felt he lost touch. I was very aware of this, because mm -hmm. obviously having you know, lived through that phase with him. But when I decided, I think times have changed, there's a lot more information, you're a lot more accessible. Um, and plus, I wasn't planning to you know, go off into the mountains and just right. vegetate for like two years. I was uh, very sure of how I wanted to um, execute this plan of mine. In fact, taking the break and uh, stopping making films was actually the first step of the plan. Mm. It was the first step of the execution of the plan. This is something I've been thinking of for the last four or five years. Mm. All my friends are from the film industry. The people I socialize with on a normal basis are from, in some way, the film industry or the media. So I think, um, and today you have social media as well, um, and I think it's very easy to keep abreast of what's going on, what kind of films are being made. So I wasn't really removing myself from sure. this world. So I was very sure of that I'm, I'm not gonna lose touch. But more importantly, it was a very personal decision where I felt I just, I just needed to recalibrate how I was working. It right. wasn't the kind of work I was doing, it's how I was doing the work. Mm. And I was very confident in the kind of actor I hoped to come back as. 
I had more confidence in that actor than I did in the doubt of, oh my God, am I going to lose touch? You know, out of sight, out of mind. Um, you know, are you going to be left behind? All these kind of things. So I was more confident on the person that I aimed to become. And I think that's the difference between my dad's time and my time. On, yeah. right. I mean, one of the words to describe a summit, perhaps if you were to translate in Hindi, would be a manthan, right? Self-introspection. And that's precisely what you did. Uh, what was the conclusion from that self-introspection? Not that you went to the Himalayas, you were obviously working, you were, you were doing various things at the same time. But what is it that you learned because you took a step back to be able to see a larger picture? It kind of just emanated from a place where I just felt I'd become very complacent in mm -hmm. my professional attitude. It's a bit of an irony, you know, we spend, I, I'm, I'm sure in most fields, but in cinema you, you, you work hard to attain a certain level of material comfort as well. Mm. I mean, let's all be honest with ourselves, you know, that is a big part of our lives. And once you attain that comfort, um, then you just start coasting along with it. What happened with me professionally is I was in a phase where I was making some very successful films. Mm. I was getting paid some very good money. I had no pressure to deliver a hit because that was on a fellow actor of mine. Mm. I, was, I was in a very comfortable, happy space. I was working with some of my dearest friends, having a mm. great time making You mean movies. Happy New Year, Houseful 3? Yeah, all right, these right, kind of films, right. you know. Um, and what happens is once it works, then you do another one because you mm. know it works. Then you do the third one saying, this is really easy. Mm. Life isn't meant to be easy, especially films. Mm. Filmmaking is definitely not meant to be easy. Mm. As, a, as a creative person, as an actor, especially today, it's very important to be uncomfortable. It's very important to be challenged on a daily basis. Mm. When you, you know, can sleep peacefully and wake up and say, yeah, I can do this with my eyes shut and I can just coast along, it's a great space to be in. Right. I, I'm not gonna you know, lie to you. But what happens is I realize that if I carry on like this, what I'm bringing to the table in terms of a film or a project is going to keep depleting film by film mm. because I'm not contributing anything. I'm just there, I'm having a blast. Getting I'm, paid well. I'm getting paid well and the films are becoming, you know, 200, 300 crore right. films. But if I'm going to stop contributing to my project, in two, three films times, my producers are going to say, hey, why do I need him? I'll take somebody else. Mm. So you become disposable. I wanted to stop before I reached that stage. Mm. I said, no, you need to stop, you need to take a step back and just recalibrate, like I say, sure. re-energize, come back with a lot more focus and come back with a plan. You know what had happened with me, Mayank, and I, I've known you for so many years and uh, I mean, I'm sure there are people here who have met, I mean, Jyoti's here, Jyoti's known me since I was a kid. You know, people don't believe it, but even though I'm, I'm born and brought up in this film industry and this film industry is my life, it, it genuinely mm. is. Making movies is something that I am most passionate about. Mm. I love the film industry. I love making films. I love watching films. It's, mm. it's my world. Now what happens is when I got the opportunity to become an actor, mm. um, and I say I got the opportunity because another thing people don't believe is... Right, I was going to ask it you wasn't, question It wasn't point. easy comings right. for me in, in that sense. Mm. You know, everybody would have thought being Mr. Bachchan's son, there was a line of producers. No, so did you, did you make that shit up? that you actually went for two years from one producer director's office to the other because everyone in Bombay should have a struggle story. You are Amitabh Bachchan's son and it takes you two years to make a debut. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> There's my life story for you. <laughs> they refuse to believe my truth as well, yeah. No, um, the, the only difference is I did not entirely go to all the producers. Okay. Sometimes they came they to came my to father's. You, it was a, a bit of both. Um, I was at that point um, working for my father's company as a production boy and as an assistant director. And um, that's when I was trying to get a job as an actor. And, and, and shockingly, which was, should have been um, a reality check for me, which I, I obviously didn't let, me, didn't let it impact me as much as it should have, was most of them and all the ones that said no to me mm. uh, said it saying, no, we don't want the responsibility of right. launching Amitabh Bachchan's son. Because they realized what that would take. And uh, then suddenly, you know, one day, as a blessing, in walked Mr. J.P. Datta and uh, he had just made Border and he offered me a film and, right. and I jumped at the opportunity because I, you know, I mean, obviously it's J.P. Datta, why would you not want to mm. work with him? But what happened after that is, it's just, you're like a kid in a candy store. 
I was just happy as an actor to be to have a job, mm. to go out there and make movies. And guess what? I was enjoying it. Right. Uh, maybe some of the results I wasn't enjoying, but mm. the, by and large, the process was right. was was wonderful. So I never really laid down and say, "Hey, what do I want out of my career? What do I want to achieve? How do I want to go about achieving?" I was just happy being an actor, getting a job, and getting and to getting make movies. And getting your next film and your next. Absolutely. Right. So I needed to to rethink that. Um, so these are the kind of things so that I 